<laughs> All right, guys. Hey, what's up? I know I told a bunch of you guys I was going to build some rubber band airplanes this summer. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get back to my roots of uh, uh, stick and tissue rubber band airplanes. I've built and flown a lot of RC planes over the years. And, and I guess I could, you could say I kind of got over that a decade and a half ago it was probably the last time I flew. And I still, I still have airplanes upstairs. That just they're just gathering dust. I could go out and fly them tomorrow, you know, if I if I if I just you know went over them and you know uh, prepped them for flight. But uh, they're just sitting, and uh, you know, uh, I just and I don't want to get into the FAA regulations, the new FAA regulation thing. It's just I, who wants to deal with that? It's like so. I'm going back to my roots of. Uh, building stick and tissue and rubber airplanes, man, because I just want to go out in the fun, go out in the sun and have some, have some fun. And, uh, so, uh, I wanted to show you the kits that I've gotten so far from eBay. I've gotten so far, I got, uh, Comet Sparky, right? Really cool kit, right? Built that when I was like 10 years old, never got a chance to fly it. So we're going to rebuild it and we're going to fly it. Sig Tiger. This one I have built before. Pretty good airplane. Mr. Mulligan. I've also built that one before. Um, we're going to rebuild it. Actually, I've built that one twice before. So I'm going to I'm going to build a third version. This will be the third one of these I've built in my lifetime. I've been around for a long time. You know, it's hard to believe they made kits back there. Back just a couple back just a couple years after the Wright brothers first flew, you know, they were making airplane kits and I was building them. Um Focke Wolf 190 and a Newport, right? I really I'm, I I actually can't wait to build the Newport. Cute little airplane, right? It's only like 13 inch wingspan. It's gonna be real tiny. As compared to the to the Sparky here, you can see the Sparky is gonna be like humongous. Compared to that, it's 32 inch wingspan, and that's the Sig Tiger up there. A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, but reasonably sized. It's a it's a it's a very reasonably sized rubber band airplane. Um, so what's really cool about some of these kits is I got I got most of these kits for about on average ten dollars plus ten dollars shipping. That was the average um, for all of these. So I got. Yeah, I spent a hundred dollars. Spent a hundred dollars on five kits, and I've got a few more coming still. Um, and then I decided I'm, I'm like, wow, man, this is getting out. This is getting out of hand. I gotta stop buying these things, and uh, because I'm never gonna build all of them. So, uh, but this one's this one's gonna be first. That one's gonna be second. And that'll probably be the third and fourth and fifth one that I build. That's probably the order I'm going to build them in. So I got all, I'm, I'm gathering up all the vital supplies. Um, I got, uh, I got stick pens, a board, a bag of weed, and a ham sandwich. And I'm just about ready to go. But you know what's really cool is Comet has been out of business for like 30 years. Right, almost 30 years. So, and this kid's probably 20 years older than that. All right, so this kid has traveled across decades to get here, and now it's here. <laughs> I'll see you guys tonight at Terrence.